Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's Armstrong broadcast between the visiting South Point Pointers and the Chesapeake Panthers. Tonight's starting lineups, first for the Pointers, hitting first, playing center field, number 13, Drew Smith. Batting second, catching, number 24, Drake McClure. Playing shortstop, number 10, Brody Blackwell. Batting fourth, playing third base, number 22, Ben Walls. Correct, that's number 12. Batting fifth and pitching, number 22, Bryson McCann. Playing second base, batting six, number 20, Nakayan Dawson. In left field, number 26, batting seventh, Zach Klein. In right field, batting eight, number 17, Brendan Dillon. And playing first base and batting ninth, number 21, Dalton Runyon. For the Panthers, in center field, number 10, Austin Browning. Hitting second, the shortstop, Trent Durth. Hitting third, second base, number 12, Thomas Sintz. Pitching, number two, Travis Grimm. Catching, number three, Jonah Ridenauer. In right field, number 11, Devin Stevens. And at third base, hitting seventh, number 14, A.J. Literal. At first base, number 17, John Marshall. And in left field, number seven, Levi Best. Uh, both these schools uh, have boundaries on each other and uh, a little bit of rivalry going on here tonight. Uh, the Panthers have had a little bit of a rough go this season. They're looking to turn it around here tonight. And the Pointers are trying to stay in this OBC race as there are two games back from Rock Hill and Farrell. As we're getting the last few pitches in before we throw. On the mound for the Panthers is Travis Grimm. Rounding out the lineup for the Panthers in the field. You have right now we're catching first base Marshall, second base Sense, shortstop Dirth. Third base is literal, the left field is best. Browning's in center, and Stevens is in right. Up first for the pointers is the center fielder, number 13, Drew Smith. Drew's a lefty. And the lefty and the leadoff hitter. Got the third baseman pulled in, looking for some type of bunt down the line. Grim toes a rubber. First pitch is a strike. Fielders are playing straight away. Pitch two is a little outside. One on one's a count. Beautiful day here in Chesapeake, Ohio. Temperature about 80 degrees. Swing and a miss. Pitch up a little bit for one and two count. Pointers are looking to get that leadoff hitter on base, get a rally started here off the bat. Pitch is inside. Runs a count two and two. Ball hit, foul out of play. Line drive right back up the middle for a base hit. Smith gets the inning started off with the leadoff single. Now batting for the pointers, the catcher, number 24, Drake McClure. McClure up for the Panther, or for the pointers, the catcher. Let's see what we got going here. We got a little hit and run or a steal, bunt. 
It's a straight steal. Throw goes through. And Smith has a stolen base. Statistics will tell you that the leadoff hitter gets on base. You generally scores about 70% of the time in high school baseball. Pointers have Smith second. Nobody out. Check swing. Yes, he swung. Runs the count to one and one. Sets and delivers. Pitch low and away. Now two and one. Pitch away. Let's count three and one. Something here he can drive. 3 1 pitch. Ball up and away. Ball four. Based on balls, puts runners on first and second. Brings up Brody Blackwell. Short stop. Blackwell also does some pitching for the pointers. Good pitch there. Starts man off with the strike. 0 oh, 1 the count. Panthers looking for a nice routine ground ball here, get a double play. with their three hitter up. You don't look for a bunt here. Fly ball to right field. Right fielder coming on. Ball's down. Throw to the plate. Runner holds. Got bases loaded. Nobody out. On a single by Blackwell to right. have that rally started for the cleanup hitter third baseman Ben Walls looks like the Panthers are pulling the infield in except for a second base trying to cut that run down to plate pitches away for a ball Let's count 1 and 0. Coach Goodwin in the third base box gives the signs. Graham comes set. Pitch gets away from the catcher. Here comes the runner. And the pointers are on the board with a pass ball. No one out. We have runners on second and third now. And they're still staying up in the middle. Or on corners, I'm sorry. Playing back in the middle. Pitch is in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Here in the top of the first. There's a two and two. Here 
Ingram delivers up a little. Runs a count full. Walks, loads of, loads of bases up again. Bryson McCann, the pitcher. Bryson toes up here, gets in the box, looking to uh, help his own cause here. The big hit. Panthers are playing in again, looking for the force at the plate. There's a good pitch right there. Start the man off 0 and 1. A little breaking ball on the outside part of the plate. Graham sets and delivers. Ball down. Catcher does a nice job blocking there. Saves that run. Runs a count 1 and 1. Catcher's got to do a good job blocking curveballs in the dirt. You have a runner on third base. Plenty of room in the backstop here. It's an easy run if you don't get that thing blocked in front of you. One one pitch up. Runs count two and one. Can help him grim out a little bit there on a the pitch away. Makes count 2-2. Two, two. Strike three called on the pitch on the inside corner for the first out of the inning. Next up the bat the corner is number 20, Nakaya Dawson. Next up is Dawson, second baseman. Panthers moving it back up the middle, maybe trying to turn two up the middle. Pitches up, ball gets away from the catcher. A run scores. That's two runs on pass balls. This runner's on second and third. Pointers have two runs on the board. Ball's fouled at the plate. Runs count one and one. Blocking that one. Counts two and one. Dawson is the pointer's second baseman. Probably looking to hit the ball the other way, try to get these runners advanced, get that run in. Pitch right down the middle. Let's count two and two. Count the full. And called strike three. 
So after a shaky start, Grimm has come back to strike out the last two hitters. And with two down, brings up the left fielder, Zach Klein. All down away from the catcher. Here comes the run of the plate. Safe. Pointer score the third run of the inning of another wild pitch. And catcher calls time, wants to go out and have a discussion with the infielders. Back here, getting ready for the 1 0 pitch. Grim toes the rubber. Klein steps in. There's a strike on the inside corner. Runs count 1 1. Panthers need to get out of this inning and uh, get things started on their side here. Another strike, it makes the count one and two. Finds in the hole one and two. Graham delivers, it's away. Runs count two and two. Got walls on third base. Two, two count, two out. And strike three. For the pointers, you have two, three runs on two hits. One man left. At the end of the top of the first, it's South Point three, Panthers zero. This is Armstrong Sports. McCann on the mound, back in the field by McClure catching, running at first, Dawson at second, Blackwell at short, Walls at third, Klein, Smith, and Dillon in the outfield. And up first for the Panthers, number 10, Austin Browning, the center fielder. Browning also hitting left handed. Pulls that third baseman in a little bit. Inside for a ball. Brian looking to get on here to start the rally for the Panthers. Kane's pitch is away. Ball two. Two of count. There's pitch. Foul down the right field line. Can starts to wind up and delivers. Running takes a big cut. Evens the count two and two. Well, his outfield shading a little bit towards right here. Browning hits a pop up at the third baseline. Catch is made, but he's out of play. Down 
left field line. The hillside comes down really close to the foul line and uh, takes away a few outs in the game occasionally. Browning gets a new life. Running goes down swinging. Next up for the Panthers, a shortstop, Trent Durth. Durth gets set. Looks to bunt. Pitches in the dirt, goes back back. Runs cap one low. Gotta pull the pointer third baseman in just a little bit. Pitches off the outside. Runs count one one. Side part of the plate makes a count two and two. We've overcast the evening here. The sun shouldn't be a problem for any of these fielders. And Brader fits the line drive in the right center field gap. Ball's down. Dirt makes a big turn. Nice single there by Trent Dirt. Now batting for the Panthers, the second baseman Thomas Sense. One out. So digs in. Dirk on first. A little better than average lead over there. Pitch on the outside corner for strike one. First time going from the set position tonight. Set, oh, I had to lean over there as he throws the first base. Dirth gets back pretty easy. Dirth may have been trying to take off there. Easy. And you can see if he tries to get another step or so, he's been back easy both times. Dirk takes his lead. Oh, snuck out there one more step, look like. A leg jump, ball hit right back up the middle. Still beats the play there. Shortstop throws the first and second out. Next up for the Panthers, the pitcher Travis Grimm. With two out. Travis is looking to help his own calls here, knock in a run. Looks like this is a big at bat in this game here. Panthers already down 3 0. They need to get a run here to get a little bit of confidence back, maybe, and uh, this game a little bit tighter. First pitch is a breaking ball and for a strike. Strike out. Can maybe looking to pay him back here. First game. Pitch it down. Let's count two and one.
Green is fly ball in the right field. Center fielder circles under, makes the catch in the inning. For the Panthers, no runs on one hit, one man left. At the end of the first inning, it's South Point three, Panthers nothing. Leading off of the pointers is the right fielder Brendan Dillon. Pointers have eight, nine, one in the batting order coming up. Batting for the pointers, number 17, Brendan Dillon. This is time as a pitcher here at the bottom of the orders where you've got to dominate. You want to keep those eight and nine hitters off the base as much as you can. Rim toes rubber is ready to deliver. Pitch outside a little bit for a ball. Pretty close pitch there. Where it misses inside. Let's count two and oh. Pitch must have been down a little bit. Runs a count three and zero. Oh. Pitches away for ball four. That's the third walk issued by Grimm in this game. First baseman number twenty-one, Dawson Runyon. Brings up first baseman Dawson Runyon. Nine hitter up here. You may see some type of action here between either a hit and run or a bunt. Third baseman for the Panthers pulled up on the edge of the grass looking for that. Grim's pitch. There's a fake bunt. Throw through. And he is called out. Good throw there by Ridenauer. First out of the inning. Umpire, the great Edgar Childers there on the call. Perfect position to make that call. Edgar, many years of umpiring experience, knows where to get. That'll give Grimm a little bit of confidence in his fielders behind him now. Runyon takes a pitch, makes a count one on one. First pitch on the steal. I didn't really pay attention to the home plate umpire to see what the pitch was. Evidently, it was a strike. Grimm's pitch is up, makes it 2 1. Another pitch up, wins a count 3 and 1. 3 1, 1 out. Pitch down the middle there, might count three and two. And Grimm gets the strikeout. It's Grimm's fourth strikeout of the game. Now brings up the leadoff hitter, Drew Smith. Smith singled right back up the middle of the first at bat. Two outs. This is where you want to be when you get back to the top of the line. Up, two guys down. Makes it hard to get a rally going. There's Smith, another base hit into right field. Right fielder knocks the ball down, gets the ball in. Hit the two nice at bats so far this game. Two line drives. Brings up McClure, Drake McClure, the catcher. McClure walked last time. Now back the catcher, Drake McClure. Two outs. 
Lead off hitter on first, looking for a stolen base here. Let's see if the Panthers decide maybe to try to guess right on a pitch out. Smith with a short lead. There he goes. Pitch is down. Throw goes through. Smith makes it pretty easily. The second stolen base of the game. Now I got a runner on second, two out. Nobody really holding the guy on second. There he goes to third. And he steals that base as well. Smith three stolen bases on the evening. We're only in the second inning. Two out. Get this out here. It doesn't really matter. Toes are over in the pitch. Line drive into left field. And fall down in front of Best. Best gets it in. Piece of hitting bomber clear there. Corners with a little two-out two out rally. Scores another run. Next score four to nothing. Brings up Blackwell, Brody Blackwell. Brody had a single last at bat. Fly ball in the short right field. He's just hit the perfect spot. Pitch off the outside corner. Ball one. Blackwell, a shortstop. Clear, don't look like he's going anywhere. Coach Goodwin does his best bullfighting impersonation down there and gets out of the way. Wants that baseball back, he likes it better. Pitch it off the outside. Let's count two and one. Move first. He clears back easy. He clears a catcher. Generally speaking, you don't look for catchers to steal a lot of bases. But you never know. Pitches away, runs count three and one. Blackwell sitting three and one, probably looking for some type of fastball in one of his favorite spots. Something he can drive somewhere. Graham sets and the pitch. Ground ball back to the shortstop. Throw to first, in time. The pointers, one run on two hits. One man left on base. Into the top of the second is pointers four. Panthers, nothing. And we are back to the bottom of the second inning. Leading off for the Panthers, the catcher, Jonah Ridenauer. Panthers have five, six, seven up in the order here. Looking for some base runners, get some, some things started here. Right now, our singles in straight center field. Nice line drive, base hit, start from the end. Next up for the Panthers, number 11, Bubby Stevens. The next up for the Panthers, the right fielder, Devin Stevens. There's that 
leadoff runner on again. Warner's move around double play depth here. Stevens fouls one straight back. Council one on Stevens. And checking the runner and a pitch. Pitch on the outside corner. Count 0 and 2. Can nibbling outside. Seems to go fishing a little bit there. Stevens laid off. He's count 1 and 2. Be down 0-2. Got yeah, just about swinging about anything close. Trying to put the bat on the ball. A little curveball. Called strike three. He's at the bat number 14, AJ Latrell. Next up for the Panthers, third baseman AJ Latrell. Trail standing in the back of the box. Hands held high. Swing at the first offering. Comes a count to 0 1. Trail having a hard time getting his fighting glove in his pocket. Now he's ready to go. He squares the bunt, takes the pitch up. Coach Bertram using the arm brand, armband signaling system. Calling the, the play for the Panthers. I was never a big fan of the armband system myself. Ball get, pitch gets away. Riding our advances second base. So now you'd think the bunt's probably off. Took two shots at it. And Coach Bertram looked like he gave him the swing signal. I was never a big fan of the armband system, but I'm a dinosaur, so. Long foul ball down the left field line. I have been around that long, Bill Graham. Runs a count two and two. <laughs> and slow curve ball. Literal's hang, hung in there, got a piece of it. to keep fighting here. Foul off the good pitches and try to hit the mistake. Pop up down the right field line and it's out of play. Nothing else is good at bat for AJ here. Making the pitcher work. Pitch count rules that they use now makes it really tough on coaches and their pitchers. Pitch down the way. He's working count full now. Away. Worked a walk out of that. Pretty good at bat. Next up for the Panthers, number 17, Big John Marshall. Next batter for the Panthers, first baseman John Marshall. There's the problem with the wristband system. 
You got music playing in the background, coach yelling, neither one can hear. Makes it really tough to communicate where if you can stand there and just do signals on the third base box, you don't have to hear anything. There's a bunt. Ball laid down. Throw down the first base line, moves the runner up. Good little sacrifice bunt. Run on second, third, two out. Levi Best coming to the plate. And Levi's a freshman, left handed hitter. Levi, a little slap down third base line. It's a big high hop. Third base throws it across the top, and he throws it away. Runner coming from second to home. Throws high, he's safe. Panthers score two runs. Beth advances second base. Big bat, bat there for Best. Two runs scored. Two runs scored for the Panthers. Up next, number 10, Austin Brownie. Now all it takes is one swing, get yourself back in the game. With two outs, runner on second, Browning up. Browning is a strikeout victim last time. Best takes a good lead. I really think he could steal third base pretty easily right here. Third base is playing way in on the grass. There's no way he'd get back to the cover of the bag, I don't think. Takes a couple steps back. And the pitch. Browning takes a cut. Brings count one and one. Pitch. Browning tries a bunt, he pops it up, makes an easy play for the pitcher. He can. So at the end of two, your score. South Point four, Chesapeake two. This is Armstrong Sports. is the third baseman, Ben Walls. Walls walked last time. Four two game here, the Panthers battle back, got two runs there. Now you want to get a shutdown inning here and get back at the plate. Walls with a line drive, base hit in the right field. Nice play by the right fielder there, cut that off. Hold Walls to a single. And the next batter is Bryson McCann, pitcher. McCann struck out to get the first out in the first inning. Ball takes his lead. McCann squares, offers at it, and misses for strike one. Execution of the bunts, big in high school baseball. You can lose or win your ball games. Good, good one takes the bunt off and lets McCann swing away. And he just takes a cut and misses. And he gets count 0 and 2. Now third baseman from the Panthers can back up a little bit. Two strikes on him. Don't figure he'll be bunting here. at the curve, strike three. Next 
That's better for the pointers. Nakai and Dawson, second baseman. Dawson struck out in the first inning as well. And swings the first pitch. But Grimm's found a groove here. He's throwing one ball. Last three batters. Set and delivers. Foul ball gets ahead 0 and 2 on this batter as well. O2 offering curveball right down the middle. Strike three, looking the second out of the inning. Now batting for the pointer, left fielder. Pointer's Zach next Klein. batter is the seventh hitter, Zach Klein. Plays left field. Zach also struck out to end the first inning. So after the first pitch single by Walls, pointers have struck out twice. Graham has only missed the strike zone one time this inning. Graham threw a lot of pitches in the first two innings. Pitch count got up. He needs an easy inning this inning. Keep things going. First baseman tried a little decoy play there, like the ball got away from him. The walls of it and biting. Curveball, strike two. No balls and two strikes. Klein. Klein digs in. Graham checks the runner and delivers. Curveball kind of slid off the fingers there. Klein ducked out of the way. Yossi El Puig getting here. Grim's pitch pop foul. Counts one and two. Two out. And pointers ahead four to two. Pitch strike three. Graham gets out of the inning with three strikeouts and 12 pitches. For the pointers, no runs on one hit and no errors. One man left on base. And the top of the third score, South Point four, Panthers two. This is Armstrong Sports. for the Panthers is shortstop Trent Durth. Panthers scored two runs in the last inning and uh, cut the lead in half. Looking to maybe try to add a run or two here and get this thing tied back up. Durth steps in. Pitch ground ball to third, knocked down by a third baseman. And Dirk uses his speed and legs it out. Up next for the Panthers, number 12, Thomas Sense. Sense is up now. Sense into a fitter's choice last at bat. Sense a three hitter for the Panthers. Steps make a move. First base and running back easily. The 
Throw some offers at it. Throw goes behind. Trying to advance it safely. Thurston might have got, or since might have got a little lucky there that uh, the catcher didn't make any contact with him. He stepped in front of the plate. The catcher makes a little contact. Sometimes catcher inter or interference and uh, runner be called out. Count goes to two and one. One and one. Fly ball, short, shallow right, second base, out of, and makes play. Next up's the pitcher, Travis Grimm. Grimm flied out to the center last time. Lays down a bunt. Good play. Once again, bunting. Bunting makes things happen. Runners on first and third. Graham with a bunt single. Next up, Jonah Ridenauer. Ridenauer has one of the two hits for the Panthers this game. Solid single into center field. We're going to take a pitch here and give Grimm a chance to steal second base. He takes the pitch, catcher throws back to third, runs back safe. So we got two men in scoring position here for Ridenauer. Grimm shows off a lot more speed than his dad had. And he's on second base. Takes the pitch up. Count two and zero. Oh. Right now, our fouls one out for our first base side, out onto the track. Count two and one, one out. Right now, the ground ball in the hole, it's short. I score one run. Oh, the ball gets thrown away. All runners are safe. And a run scores. Now, back to the Panthers, number 11, Lovey Stevens. Graham advances to third base. Right now on first. Once again, look for Stevens here to possibly take a pitch. Get right now over to second base. A lot of times I like to uh, steal that base and then the next pitch I usually like to try to squeeze that runner in at third home. Tie this game up. There's a steal, throw through. He's safe, slid around the tag. Surprisingly, Coach Bertram didn't send Grimm. Throw goes through, he should have been there. Now the Panthers have runners on second and third and one out. Pointer's taking a chance there, trying to get an out. Pitch. Ball gets away from the catcher. Coach Bertram saying, my bad, my bad. Coach Bertram must have been shielded by the ball there. 
Brings count to two and zero. Oh. Stevens, the strikeout victim last time. Pitch up. Three and zero. Oh. strike which is a little bit off the plate but the umpire usually gives you that call three and0 count that's count to 31 and single ground ball back up the middle short stop bobbles it throws and makes the out right now moves up and Grimm scores to tie this game up AJ the trail, the next batter. The trail, the third baseman, walked last time and scored for the Panthers. Two out, he's looking to drive, drive this run in, give the Panthers the lead. Pitch down the middle for a strike. 0 1 the count. Fly ball down the right field side. That could be trouble. That might be well placed. That ball is down for a single. Fair ball. Little Texas leaguer that drops in. Next up for the Panthers, number 17, John Marshall. And the Panthers take the lead. Next batter is the first baseman, John Marshall, with two out. Coach Goodwin calls timeout. Going out to the mound. You know, McCann can't be uh, too happy with his fielders right now. Made a couple of plays behind him that, that uh, normally they would have made. Kind of made it a tough long inning on him. Like Coach Goodwin just trying to settle him down a little bit. So Marshall steps in now. We got time out now. Good one going back out. He's going to make a change. It's not like something he saw in the language, body language or something, or maybe pitch count. That's where he wanted to turn it, turn it off at. It looks like uh, Smith coming, Drew Smith coming in to pitch for the pointers. We'll take a timeout. This is Armstrong Sports. We are back. Smith comes in to pitch for the pointers. With two outs, so your final line on McCann had two and two-thirds innings, two inning pitch, four hits, five runs, two of those were earned with one walk and two strikeouts. First pitch from Smith is ball down in the dirt. Smith comes in with two outs and runner on first. And Marshall is the hitter. Marshall, the open stance, brings it back in. It's a high fly ball in the shallow center field. Hands under it and makes the catch. The third out of the end. For the Panthers, at three runs on two hits. But one man left on base. At the end of three, you have Chesapeake five, South Point four. This is Armstrong Sports. Fourth inning, the pointers. Leading off is the right fielder, Brendan Dillon. 
Dylan walked last time at bat. Lefty steps in. Takes Grimm's first pitch for a ball outside. Second offering is a strike. Let's count to one and one. Grimm's got to feel like he's got a new lease on life here. Coming down four behind four to nothing, and the Panthers come back and score five runs in the last two innings, take the lead. He's found his groove the last two innings, done a lot of strikes. And gets ahead one and two here. Grimm sets and delivers. Ball down. Good out of Dylan there, taking that pitch. That ground ball to short. Throw, nice play there. Durth making a nice play, quick release, gets the out. Next up for the pointers, a ninth hitter, Dawson Runyon, the first baseman. Dawson was a strikeout victim last at bat. Here's pitches up and away, ball one. Pitch right down the middle for strike. Let's count one and one. Line drive down the right field line, slicing foul. Let's count one and two. Again, Grimm doesn't like that baseball. That's the one that was fouled away. Foul straight back. Count stays one and two with one out here. And Graham gets him with the curve for the second time tonight. Now that is center fielder, Drew Smith. Next up is center fielder Drew Smith. Correction, the pitcher now, Drew Smith. Smith is two for two, two solid singles. It takes a curveball for a strike. Good idea by Grimm there. Smith has hit two fastballs. Starting off the curve here, get him off balance a little bit. See what he comes back with. Uh, he sneaks the fastball by. Gets ahead 0-2. A little lesson for you pitchers out there. Start with the curve sometimes. Get that across. That makes that fastball about 10 mile an hour faster. 0-2 pitch. Good 0-2 pitch, good location, good spot. Attempt to batter, good eye by Smith. And curveball up. Runs count 2-2. Two, two. Timeout's called. A little bit late granting that. Big pitcher had started his motion. And probably went ahead and stopped it. Oh. 
Pitch off the blade and away. Fastball. Runs account full. Good, good at bat by Smith here to work count back full. Grim challenges. Foul ball down the left field line. Out of play. Basically gets over, makes a play. Smith's pretty quick here, beat it out. Good job knocking the ball down. Smith is on. Smith has stolen three bases in his two previous at bats. Now batting the pitcher, Drake McClure. Runs really well. Rod Nair wants to call time and go out there and talk to his pitcher a little bit. Drake McClure is the next batter. Drake's one for one with a walk and a single. Hey, we got two. Right, nice throw. He's in safe. Smith with another stolen base. Gets himself a scoring position with two outs. A 1 0 count on McClure. Last time Smith stole third. I don't think you'll see him doing that now. Down a run with two outs. Pitch away. Count two and oh. The old baseball rule you don't make the first or third out on third base applies here. Ball puffed up out of play. Makes count two and one. Oh, Another pitch fouled away. Let's count two and two. Set and delivers. Breaking ball hits off the middle. Earth can't hold it, handle it. Had a chance to get the runner third. Everybody's safe. Runner on third and first. Two out. And brings Blackwell to the plate. Blackwell's one for two with a single. And a ground out to short. A little interesting cat and mouse game here now. The pointers try to send McClure to second. If they do, will the Panthers try to throw him out? Throw him out to end the inning. Get him out before he run on third gets to the plate. McClure stays put. Foul ball.
He's the three hitter up, probably your best hitter in your lineup. They're going to let him swing the bat here and try to drive that run in. Take like a chance on getting put out second base. Curveball by Grimm. Fouled away. And gets ahead 0 2. Grimm's got a couple options here. He can try to come up with the fastball or try to get him. The curveball in the dirt sets those fastball down. One, two. Grim kind of taps his chest. That's my bad. Blackwell steps in. The one, two offer. Clear of the short lead on first. And a pitch. Curveball down. Dirth fields it. Makes the tag in the end. For the pointers, no runs on one hit. Two men left. The end of the top of the first, it's Chesapeake 5, South Point 4. This is Armstrong Sports. Panthers with a 5-4 lead here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Leading off for the Panthers is the left fielder Levi Best. Best reached on an E5 last at bat, scored two, knocked in two runs with it. Strike, first pitch. Smith came in to get the last out of the last inning in relief of McCann. Best lays down the bunt, fielded cleanly by Smith. Throws the first and gets the out. Next up for the Panthers, number 10, Austin Browning. Austin Browning up for the Panthers. Browning has struck out and flat, flat out to the pitcher on a pop-up bunt. Browning's there for two for the evening. Lefty steps in, sets, takes ball one. Browning with a flare down the left field line. Nice play by Blackwell, making a catch out there short. Runs it down. Smith's thrown five pitches this inning and got two outs. Trent Durst, the next hitter. Trent's been on base both at bats with a single and uh, getting on with an error. Curveball hit in the shallow right. Right footer's coming on and he makes the catch. For the Panthers, no runs on no hits. Nobody left on base. Your score after four complete. Chesapeake five, South Point four. Here for the top of the fifth. The Panthers run out Grimm again on the mound for the fifth inning. Leading up for the pointer is the third baseman Ben Walls. Ben has walked and singled for the pointers. Grimm's first offering. Curveball away for a ball. Choking up a little bit here. Takes fastball down the middle for a strike. One on one to count. Grim 
bounces one in. And it counts two and one. Offers it the second pitch, brings the count to 2 2. Graham sets and delivers. Breaking or fastball up and in. Walls didn't like that location. There's a little stare down. Brings the count full, 3 and 2. Next up is Bryson McCann. Now batting number 22, Bryson McCann. McCann has been a strikeout victim in each of his at bats this evening. 0 for 2. Perfect bunt situation here. So it wants to go with something like that. McCann squares, lays down the bunt. It's a good bunt. Ooh. Panthers got lucky. First was charging and second was covering second. There was nobody to cover first. They got away with it. Next up for the pointers, number 20, Nakai and Dawson. Next up, second baseman, Nakai and Dawson. Dawson has struck out in his two at bats. One out with the runner at second base. Sets and delivers. Pitches down the way for ball one. Pitches away for ball two, two and oh. Part of the order that Grimm has owned. He's worked a 2 0 count here. Have to get a good pitch here to hit. Grimm sets, delivers, and gets the strike. Might have got a little break here. That pitch looked maybe a little up in the end, but he got the call. 2 1 count. Away, three and one. Dawson digs in, room sets, and delivers. Ball four. Turns on first and second with one out for Zach Klein. Zach is 0 for 2 on the evening with two strikeouts. Coach Goodwin wants to have a little discussion with him. And Coach Davis is coming to the mound. I don't know where Grimm's pitch count is, but the first two innings he threw a lot of pitches. Kind of sailed through the third and fourth fairly easily. I think he's somewhere in the 75 pitcher range. Wow. My correction. Scorekeeper told me he's at 107. So, yeah, he's probably starting to get tired. This will probably be his last inning. Pitch down. Nice block by the Rodenauer. 
1 0 count, 1 out. Panthers looking for the strikeout. Something on the ground in the infield. Two and zero. Oh. There was some activity down in the Panther bullpen in between innings last inning. I couldn't see who it was down there throw. Pick off throw back to second. Pitch down the middle for strike one. Two one count. Klein looks down at his wristband and see what the signal. Coach Goodman wants. Pop up in the infield, probably infield fly roll. Yes. Edgar Childers makes the call for the infield fly roll, and there's two down. Next batter is Brendan Dillon, the right fielder. Brendan has walked and grounded out to short. Starts him off with a strike. Dylan fouls it off to the third base side. Ball in the dirt, strike three, throw to first, ends the inning. For the pointers, no runs on, no hits, two men left. Your score after the top of the fifth inning is Chesapeake five, South Point four. This is Armstrong Sports. Lead the pointers five to four in the bottom of the fifth the inning. Panthers, 12, Thomas Sense. Leading off for the Panthers, the second baseman, Thomas Sense. Thomas is 0 for 2 with a fielder's choice and a fly out to second base. With more activity down the Panther bullpen. Sent steps in. Smith takes the signal from the catcher. And the pitch. Fastball down low for ball one. Line drive back up the middle for a base hit. Sense reaches. The next batter is Travis Grimm. Grimm is flied out and reached on a bunt single. Nobody out. The Panthers like to get that insurance run in here. Grimm calls timeout. Because once again, he can't hear the signals. Coach Bertram is trying to give him the numbers. It slows the game down. Travis. 
خود Grimm's ready now and he steps in Sense with a nice lead over there and draws a throw from Smith he's in standing might be a time you might uh, steal a base here then look to bunt him over to third See what the Panthers have decided to do. Sense with a huge lead over here. Up, oh, he holds it. Grimm slides one down the third base line for a base hit in the left. A rally started here for the Panthers in the fifth. The next batter, Jonah Ridenauer. Jonah has reached both times once on a base hit and once on an air. And he comes to plate now. The runners on first and second. Nobody out. Smith steps on the rubber. Ryden Hour steps in the box. We're ready to go. Ryden Hour squares. Bunts it down the first base line. That's kind of in a hole. Nice job by the pitcher to field his spot there. With force out, good sacrifice. Now back for the Panthers, number 11, Bubby Stevens. Advances the runners to second and third. The one out. Brings up Devin Stevens, a right fielder. Devin is 0 for 2 tonight, the strikeout, and a ground out to short. Panthers looking for some contact up the middle. Surprisingly, the pointers are playing back up the middle. Right now they can't allow a run, but they might get away with a pop up in the infield. Catcher's over. He makes the play. Next up, number 14, AJ Latrell. Next batter's the third baseman, AJ Latrell. AJ has walked and singled. Uh, two out here. Davis trying to get that one run in. Trouble offers it the first pitch. Swings and misses for count 0 and 1. Two down in a 5 4 game. Big spot here. Opportunity to get that insurance run, all valuable extra run here. AJ takes the curveball up. Has a count to one one. Pitch on the outside corner. Brings count to one and two. Ball up, and got him. Strike three. For the Panthers, no runs on two hits. Two men left. Your score after five complete. Best big five, South Point four. Panthers with a 5-4 lead. Looks like the pointers are going to do a little pitch hitting here. Looks like leading off the inning will be number 28, Grant Gifford. Panthers run Grimm back out on the mound. First up with the pointers, number 28, Grant Gifford. Gifford is a uh, big lad. The bat looks like a twig in his hand. 
as he steps in the box. Sun has come out here and looks like it's going to be really tough on the infielders on the left side of the diamond. Grim's pitch, first pitch up and in. Ball one. And pitch number two is a strike. Let's count to one and one. Gifford hitting in the nine hole. Trying to get on base for Smith. And Grimm gets ahead, one and two. Grimm's got the opportunity here. This guy's coming off the bench. I'm not seeing his curveball yet, so a curveball might be a pitch of choice here. And it is. Down and away, strike three. Next up to the corner, number 13, Drew Smith. Corner Drew Smith coming up next. Drew is having a day here. He's three for three, three singles, four stolen bases. With one away. Speedy left, he hits a solid ground ball to second base. Second base makes the play, throws him out. For out number two. Brings up the catcher, Drake McClure. Drake is one for two with a walk, a single, and reaching on an air. McClure has scored one run this game. Sets and delivers pitch up and in. Graham falls behind two and zero. Oh. Pitch, fastball on the outside part of the plate for a strike. This is a big inning here for him to get through by this batter. He's kind of owned the bottom half of the order for the pointers. A line drive in the right field for a base hit. So the two out single by McClure brings up Birdie Blackwell. Blackwell is one for three. Next up the bat, number 10, Brody Blackwell. Scored one run, he's got a single. So a two out. Graham sets and delivers. Pitch on the inside corner for a strike. 0 and 1. Curve ball, strike two. Rams up 0 and 2. You can see if Grimm tries to nibble here a little bit or if he just comes right after him. Grimm sets. Gets the ground ball to third. Fights off the sun. Makes the throw across the diamond. Oh, in the dirt. Nice play at first base. Marshall made a nice catch over there. So for the pointers, no runs on one hit. No errors. Nobody left on base. At the end of the top of the sixth, it's Panthers five, Pointers four. This is Armstrong Sports. And we're 
we're back here for the bottom of the sixth inning. Marshall. Leading out for the Panthers, the first baseman, John Marshall. Marshall made a real nice defensive play last inning on a ball in the dirt. He picked it over at first base, get the Panthers out of the inning. And leads off here to the bottom of the sixth. A lot of times you see players make a great play in the field defensively and they lead off the next inning, they end up coming up with a nice hit. Let's see what Mr. Marshall can do here. Takes the first pitch low for ball one. Low for ball two. Two oh count here in the bottom of the sixth. Panthers with a one run lead. Pitch down, three and oh. Just about figure this is an automatic take here late in the game. One run lead, start off in the inning. Pitch up and away, ball four. Next up for the Panthers, number seven, Levi Best. Next up for the Panthers, Levi Best. I think we have a pitch runner here as well. Looks like number five. Grayson Walsh should be the pitch runner here. running for Marshall. Best coming up here. I'd say a pretty good chance you're going to see a bunt right here. Get that runner second base. Sixth inning, one run lead. Bottom of the order. Best is a decent bunter anyway. He's already bunted once this game. Bunt here with the third baseman pulled in like this. You kind of want to drag us down the first baseline a little bit, get it away from the pitcher enough to where you can get that runner to second. Pitch, best takes, strike down the middle. Another one count. Best gets set. First takes a small lead over there. He's looking to steal. Pitch. Best hits a slapper to third. Third goes to second. Gets the out there. Best is safe at first. Next up for the Panthers, number 10, Austin Brownie. So now best on first, one out. Browning comes in, batting right-handed this time. Interesting switch here. Browning swings and misses. He hit lefty the first three at bats. Was not successful to reach base, so I guess he's gonna try the other side of the plate. Gets back on the third to first. Four, two, seven. Four, two, seven. Which Bertram hollers out the number system. There goes best, hit and run, fly ball to center. That could be trouble. That could be trouble. That ball's carrying well. It's down. It's down. And up against the fence. Ball goes under the fence, rolls under the fence into the parking lot. Both runners continue to run as you're supposed to. Umpire will go out and check and make sure it went under. And Edgar's not in any hurry to go check it. There he goes into the trot. That will be a ground rule double and saves the pointers a run. That's a big play right there. That ball hits the fence and stays in the park. That's a definitely a run. Oh. 
Nonetheless, Browning gets a double. Moves best to third. Nobody out. Panthers got a rally going here. Shortstop Trent Durth's up. Trent has got a single, grounded out, or grounded to third and reached on there and flew out to center field. Pointers give Dirth an automatic walk. Load the bases, set up the force. That brings up Thomas Sense. So the base is loaded. Sense gets up. He's one for three with a fielder's choice of fly out to second. And a base hit. Since the three hitter for the Panthers, this is who you want in this situation up the plate. Three and four hitters. Pointers have the infield in, trying to cut that run down the plate. Curveball in for a strike. Third baseman playing way off the bag here. Best should be getting a really big lead. Make it a tough play to plate. Starts on the edge of the grass and see how the secondary is. And he needs to get a little better jump than that. One one count. One thing you got to look for if you're the Panthers is a head high line drive. Don't want to get doubled up in this situation. Pitch. Since fouls it off. He's down one and two. Since hits the ground ball up the middle, bobbled by a second baseman. Throws it away at first. One run scored. Here comes run number two. Ball goes in the dugout. So that brings in best for sure. Browning scores. Dearth goes to third, and Sense goes to second. Two base error. The Panthers have scored two runs. Travis Grimm steps to the plate with nobody out. They walk, potentially walk Grimm. Get the riding hour. Next up for the Panthers, number three, Joe Ridenauer. Ridenauer is one for two. With a single and reached on an error. And a sacrifice bunt. Got some position changes here. The second baseman going to center field, and the center fielder coming in to play second. Center fitter want to change gloves. So this is with nobody out, bases are loaded again. Ryan and I are at the plate. Sorry, there's one out. I'm sorry, there's one out. Right now, swings pitch up. Falls behind 0 and 1.
the best time to squeeze bunt with the bases loaded because you got to force it to play. But here it comes. He gets it down. Nice bunt by right now. He's going to be safe, it looks like. Oh, nice play by Smith there to make the out, get the out. But he gets the extra run across. Next batter, Devin Stevens. Stevens is 0 for 3 tonight. Umpires are calling time getting together here. Fair what they're going to call. They're trying to discuss here. Maybe a runner up in the baseline. Didn't make contact with the ball. Didn't make a play. Saw the pointer second baseman go to one of the umpires and ask him something. So we'll come back here and just admit this is Armstrong Sports. So after uh, we're back here, after a lengthy discussion with the umpires, Coach Davis is not happy about something. I still don't know what actually is going on. The question is. They're returning Dirth back to third base. Must have been some type of interference. Somebody trying to make a play. I'm not sure what the call is here. Anyway, the Panthers have the bases loaded now with two out. Dearth does not score, so it makes the score seven to four. Oh, and they call foul ball. And Empire has now cleared the Chesapeake stands. I guess the umpire has called a foul ball on that bunt. From my point of view, it looked fair, but you don't know that. So does that make it now one out instead of two? So we have one out. A one one count. O2 count, one and one. Now O2 count, one out, base is loaded. Hope you're not as confused as I am. And here comes the bunt again, squeeze, and the ball gets away from the catcher and the run scores. So a little poetic justice there. One and two. Uh, see if we see it again. Oh, and right now tried to take Coach Birch out. One and two count, one out. And curveball up. Makes count two and two. One, 
two. Up and in, he swings, offers strike three. Two down. Now batting the right fielder, Devin Stevens. Once again, Stevens is up for three for the evening. Down inside, ball one. Curve ball up. Let's count two and up. On second, third, two out, eight four game. Pitch in for a strike. He's got two and one. Stevens with a big hitter, but just bust this game wide open. Foul. Count two and two, two out. On the sixth, eight four game. Pitches up and in, strike three. For the Panthers, three runs on one hit and two pointer errors. At the end of six, it's Panthers eight, pointers four. This is Armstrong Sports. Seventh inning, pointers are down four, need base runners. Ben Walls leading off for the pointers. This takes ball outside. Pointers are just looking for base runners right now. Panthers are looking for outs. Pitch was a strike. We count to one and one. Ground ball hit the middle. Darth makes a play, diving play, and gets the out. It's a fine play, short stop there by Trent Darth. Next up for the pointers, Bryson McCann. McCann is 0 for 2 with the sacrifice tonight. And looks like that might be the end of the pitches for Grimm. Must have run out of pitches, so the Panthers are bringing in a reliever. Oh. So we'll be back after he warms up. This is Armstrong Sports. Okay, we're back here with Armstrong Sports broadcast. The final pitching line on Grimm. Grimm pitched six in one third inning, about seven hits, four runs, two of which were earned, with five walks and ten strikeouts. Grimm, after a rough start, settled down and did a nice job there the last part of the game. Kept the Panthers in it. The Panthers made their move very late. But nobody out. One or one out, I'm sorry, nobody on. Hands up and takes first pitch for a strike. McCann is 0 for 2 on the evening. Their second offering up a little, one on one's account. Panthers looking for their second win on the season. McCann hits fly ball into right field. Right fielder makes the catch. Funny when you get ahead, sometimes you start making plays. 
All right, Fielder made a nice play on that. Merrill made a nice play short last batter. So two down. Next up is the pointers, number 20, Nakayan Dawson. Nakayan Dawson, the second baseman. They moved to center field, so he's down center field. Dawson's up. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. With the wind up and the pitch, ball up. Pointers down to their last out here. Down four runs, eight to four. Top of the seven. Fly ball into left field. Left fielder does not see it. Center fielder comes flying in and Brownlee makes the catch. Good job. Good thing he's quick. And that ends the game. Chesapeake Panthers eight, corners four. Winning pitcher Grimm. And the loser is McCann. Panthers pick up their second win on the season and deal a crushing blow to the pointers of UC Hopes. Once again, 8-4 is your final. Thank you for viewing Armstrong Sports broadcast.